So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple puzzle using an image that we resized in an earlier video. So this is the forest image. Notice that the layer is the background layer now. So um, we'll need this to be a, a free layer. So we're going to double click it. And um, I'll just call it forest. And hit OK. And now it's a, it's a free layer. It's no longer the background. What that means is we can use the uh, free tra transform tool or go to edit, free transform. And holding shift and option down, we can scale it down a little bit so that we'll have room to place the pieces outside of the puzzle in the scratch window. So hit return when you've got it scaled to the size you want. And now we can um, cut this image up so we can make the pieces out of it. So I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and just cut this thing up into some big chunks here. Um, notice that I, that I drew a, a polygon here and I double clicked when I wanted to close it at the end. And uh, now I'll do uh, edit and cut, or as you see, Command X, and then uh, File New, Command N. Notice that the preset is the clipboard size, and so that should show the pixel dimensions of the image that you're using, and your resolution should be 72. That should be the default here, and so I'll click OK, and now I'll paste it, which is the same as saying uh, Command V, into the image and turn the background layer off. This is really important. Turn the background layer off before you save this file otherwise that white will, will be included. So we would want to save this as a PNG using save for web and devices and uh, make sure it says PNG 24 and transparency right there. So it'll preserve the transparent area outside of the cut. So hit save and we're going to save this into a folder, Forest Puzzle folder, and I'm just going to call it Tile 1 and uh, keep that name for all of these. So I'll save. Now go back to the original image and then cut out another piece. And so, since if we continue to cut out of this one, then we know that uh, in the end all the pieces will uh, fit back in. So, cut new image, paste, hide the background, save for web and devices, tile 2. All right, I'm just going to quickly do the rest of these using the polygonal lasso tool and cut, new, paste, hide the background, tile 3. More here. Tile four. Last piece, tile six. Okay, so now in Scratch we can import each of these. Uh, I've got a new file open here, and I'll just go to New Sprite and go into my folder, and I'll select each one of these. I've got six, so I'm going to do this six times. Quick. Okay, so now each one of these is a separate sprite. And you can see them all sitting there. And the cat is still in here. We want to remove the cat, so control or right click and say delete. Get that cat out of there. And um, so here are all our pieces. And um, so we want them to, uh, we want to order these on the, on the screen in such a way that they're they're not where they belong, so that um, whoever does the puzzle won't immediately know where everything fits. 
so we'll do something like this. Okay, so good, good enough. And um, so now each one of these has a has its uh, kind of location saved. You can see the bottom right, the x and y value, uh, where the zero of, of the file is at the in the very middle of the of the of the window and. Um, uh, so x x zero and y zero is right here. You can see somewhere in there. Okay, so now we want to apply um, uh, a function to each one of these so that when someone clicks the green flag, everything gets reset. So uh, clicking the first sprite here, we're going to drag a when green flag clicked um, control uh, piece of script here, and then we're going to click. Uh, motion and we're gonna change it to yeah we're gonna say go to X and Y and by default it says right now negative 9 and 82 and that's where the position is for this for this object right now so so each of these every time we drag one on it'll rem it'll already know so since we've already positioned all these where they go we just now have to go to each one and drag those two pieces of code over and we don't have to even think about the numbers we just um, let scratch do the uh, fill in the blanks for us and so now there's one um, important moment or important thing we have to check here for each of these we will have to make sure that they're drag and droppable and so that's a lot easier in Scratch than it, it might appear at first. Um, the, the, the way you do it is just go and unclick or unlock this, this lock icon here. So for each of these, we'll just unlock those. So click on each sprite and make sure that each one is unlocked. And All right, so now we can play it green button and go full screen and let's see if we can put the puzzle together okay so that probably goes somewhere around here and that probably goes there and um, this puzzle is for a uh, someone a lot younger than myself so hopefully I can get it put together and yeah there we go something something kind of like this and if we hit the green button again it should all reset and start the game over